It, another what I eat in a day. I've kind of just prepared breakfast for myself. I'm having three sausage links and two eggs with some black pepper on top. And like always, I have my green tea that has just been seeping and cooling off while I cook my breakfast and get my coffee ready. And today I'm having just almond milk, collagen, and my coffee. Um, obviously, it still needs to be mixed in. Uh, with some heavy whipping cream. <sighs> oh, and this is just green tea, by the way. It has, like, no sugar or anything. I just don't like sweet green tea. I don't know. I think that's just kind of gross. Yeah, I want to get in my breakfast and just show you guys. And I think today we're going to be having burgers for lunch with some seasoned veggies that I actually really, really like. It's, like, just as good as fries, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm just going to have my breakfast and get started on my day which it's already like one o'clock so it's time <laughs> all right you guys so for lunch i just had a single beef patty wrapped in lettuce with some mayo and some cheese and i also had some cauliflower on the side with lemon pepper garlic seasoning and onion powder seasoning as well i love baking my vegetables in the oven with seasoning and in my opinion they taste just as good as fries and I absolutely love this alternative. It makes them nice and crispy and flavorful. For dessert, we are gonna be having these ice creams. Got these, again, at Albertsons. So in total, it has uh, three grams of net carbs per serving, and it has three servings per container. So that should be roughly around nine net carbs, which I could totally fit in my macros. Um, this one is the cookie dough version. So my aunt's gonna be trying the coffee and I'm gonna be trying the chocolate chip cookie dough, um, which also has three grams of net carbs. So it's gluten-free, soy-free, no added sugar, um, RBST-free milk, I don't know what that means, but yeah, three grams of net carbs. Definitely will be giving you guys my review on this. All right, you guys, so a little update on the ice cream. It's actually really, really good, but it's really, really crumbly. I don't really like that. I don't like that it's crumbly. This one is too. That one's crumbly? It's still really good though. Did you like it though? Yeah. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I feel like it could be sweeter. What do you think? Mine's perfect. Yeah. Mm. But it is a little crumbly. Mm -hmm. It's still creamy, but crumbly, but I still like it. Do you, which one do you like better, this one or the enlightened one? The one that we had last time? I like the other one better. You like the other one better? But the flavor, this one is still really good. Okay. Because the other one is not crumbly like this one. Mm -hmm. I'm not as. Yeah, no. And my aunt had tried the coffee version in the enlightened one. Which one do you prefer coffee version wise? The flavor on this one. The flavor on this one? But the consistency in the other one. Mmm, interesting. It's 10 o'clock. I'm probably going to go to sleep after I finish this episode of The Mandalorian. Um, overall, my net carbs of the day. Sorry, my dog's getting on my lap. Overall, I had 16 grams of 20 grams of net carbs. Um, I'll put up my screenshot like always. Um, I had 141 grams of fat. 59 grams of protein and 1,665 calories. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, enjoyed my review of my little keto snack. I would recommend it. I would pers personally prefer um, the enlightened ice cream before. But yeah, 10 out of 10 enlightened ice cream. 7 out of 10 um, that keto ice cream version. Um, like I said, I found it at Albertsons. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I'm going to eat today. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe because I will be posting more videos like these and show you guys more keto snacks. Um, but yeah, I'm glad you guys got this far. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!